Welcome to another part of Naruto Ultimate Harem Marble Party. This is a reading of it. It happens to be part three, starting on day four. Small warning, in the next couple days there is a questionable scene involving a dog. You may draw your own conclusions of whether you want to listen to this or not. Day 4. Nart out. Naruto woke up Sasame in his arms. It almost surprised him, but then he remembered the night and actually joined his arm. Sasame. Naruto whispered with wakings. He whispered again. And she opened her eyes. Wakey, wakey. Good morning, Naruto. Sleep good? Sasame asked with weak eyes, smiling. Sasame sat up and stretched. Let's get something to eat. Naruto nodded and left his tent with Sasame. Tintin, Yakuma, and the girls were already up, sitting around the campfire, pouring water for some oatmeal. Eureka saw Sasame and gasped. What boat is this? How is she here? Huh? The interrogation division calls her the orange demon. It's literally impossible for you to know her. Sasame, I thought you said you didn't do any important missions. Well, I don't know much important I do to know, huh? But I know plenty about the other nations, I'll put it that way. But, Orange Demon? I know a couple of useful seals, and I recently learned that Rock was a technique too. Really, I've just been working on being a better ninja for my client. I learned a lot here around Kanawa. Certainly been a help to us. I'm glad you're on our side, Eureka said with honesty. Shune and Sanui nod with agreements, and Yakumo poured oats for to oatmeal. So, what's our plan of action today? Yumi asked. Well, today I thought I'd start by teaching you guys the Rasengan, and we could just chill and hang out. Sounds good to me. How's Rasengan work? There are two important parts, the speed of rotation and the power. Try to help me learn the rotation using water balloons. When I could rotate the water fast enough with the balloon pump, then I had that down. Oh, but it's not just in one direction. It's in several, but the power yet needs a rubber ball, and when I could burst that, I had the power. And last, I had to combine those steps without breaking a badal. And after that, the Rog Shuriker, Tintin said. Nah, I was thinking state mode after that, then maybe the Ross and Shuriken. Ah, uh, Sinjutsu? Jutsune asked with surprised interest in this. Yeah, I thought of an interesting way to show you guys in a dream. But it takes big work like the Ross and Gun does. See, you have to hone your penis and have the chakra cut wrong to mix and make your energy with your own chakra. Just the right can be dangerous if you get it wrong. Like how? Sudai was being of the asked. You could turn into a frog statue of stone for the permanent. And the great toad sage said you need big charcoal reserves, but I didn't know to do that. You guys seem strong to me. And how do you gather the natural energy? Just me asked with serious interest. You have to be still with no movings and focus. So now the oatmeal was being for the done to eating, so everyone got out their chopsticks and ate. When none was looking, Shizune mixed some of the chocolate touched with hers, and added a few drops of Naruto's lemon juice. It was a quick serious meal, not really tolling except to boot who would get Naruto the next evening. The morning passed with Ross and Ron trainings, and the speed rotations of the work done. Naruto sees none worked on it harder than Yakumo. She tried really hard, even if tell from her Rasengan she pretty much had rotation down already. It made him smile. The other girls were doing this well also, but Naruto knew they would learn Rasengan soon too. He saw that Amy wanted to take purple charcoal color and watched her. Her Rasengan swirling germs were of most one erecting though, and he asked of this. Oh, I'm just 
doing it one step at a time. And then slowly work it in other directions, and then go for the speeds. How did you do it? Oh, I had a bunch of clones to help me with the training. And... And Amy... Go you fly with me to pick up some rubber balls in the village? Sure, you wanna leave soon? Yeah, I wanted to get my rubber balls and go before lunch. Amy rig on the spinnings dissipate and slip off with an auto. And, uh, Amy, I guess, um, uh, thanks for being such a big help in the battles. Uh, thanks, Naruto. I'm actually starting to have fun with this whole thing. I don't mind. Let's get ready. Amy kneeled down, stroked Naruto's boots and penis, helping him to get into a shape. Amy took some time to sex Naruto's shape with a mouth and gong ring. Ew. Mm. <laughs> Alright, stick me up, Naruto. Naruto obeyed, and for a moment he forgot he was to fly and buy balls and sex to Amy with closed eyes. Amy remembered and opened his eyes and called, Lift off! Amy moved on. <clears throat> the rest of Naruto's home was finishing up their Rosin confrontation practice. And Naruto learned this in less than a week? Ah, Tsune said. I'll have to make him tell us how when he gets back, Tsune added. Yeah, hold him down and take a lot of him, Tsune said. The girls looked at her all weird, and oh, with being lit eyebrow raisings. I'm 31 and single now, and give me a break. <coughs> I mean, it would be a fun bonding experience for us. But who would do the tickling? Tintin asked. We'd need the stronger girls to hold him down, so maybe me? Uh, I would like to tickle. We all know you would, Hinata. So your vote doesn't count, so... I might do it, I knew how to tickle back in my younger days, Yuriga said. Chew! The girls looked sus me. Oh, sorry, I'm just allergic to bees. I've seen your files, so if you knew how to tickle anyone, is you know what you say? Just saying, maybe one of those younger girls, you know. Well, as old as I think I have the right to tickle him, Shizuraka postulated. Sasume fake sneezed agina. Maybe we could take turns tickling him, Sasume suggested. And I would go first, Sasume quickly said. No, me, Sasume said. The ping ponged no's and yeses like epic tennis match. Then Sasume leapt for the strangle Shizume, and then all girls got rolled up in big anime dust cloud of fighting, telling no, me frisk, rolling around the camp until Yakumo farted. That wasn't mine. No, it wasn't your bat, it's my face, Shizune said. They all untangled from ball of fightings, and suddenly they gave a glance to Yakima. Shizune sighed. Well, we'll just see what happens when they get back. And just then, Amy and Naruto returned from the quick trip. Hey guys, I got some balls for Ross and gun training. Amy took them from Naruto and put them in the storage rock place. And Naruto saw that the girl's head swooned with him. What? What did I do? Shizune used her fast lunging for him and tackled him to begin. <coughs> Excuse me, the ticklings. The other girls jumped onto him, grabbing at him too. That's my dog, Zoe. Say hello, Zoe. Alright then, anti social. <coughs> Tell us how you did it, Shizune. Tickling Naruto's ribs. <laughs> did, did what? How you learned the Naruto? Like, you're, you're moving so fast. Oh. Oh, uh, I. Naruto could not answer for his tickled laughings. Jamie now see and join in on giving him a noogie. Naruto was being for the tickles by all girls, so Marie had for the left foot ticklings. Hinata was of the stupidly tickling his boots and thighs. Sasume was twiblet his right armpit, and Shizune smiled down on him as she tickled his ribs and then gave him happy big older sister kiss on lips. Okay, drink. We'll make you confess after lunch, Shizune said. So, Naruto and the girls had some snaggulatings, coating bars and fruit, nothing heavy. 
Most like should be with them. First things I saw was Gomery. The circle sitting around the campfire reminded me of Naruto of his dream of the sage to suit heatings. So he told me about this. Ready to try it? They assented, and Naruto sat down between Amy and Shizune. So, um, first of all, I'll need to be, um, connected, so. Naruto put his fingers into Amy's, and Shizune's plipsies are beginning to send a shadow at a time. All around the fireplace, they connected. Fingers wiggling into plipsies, like worms into rich, fertile soil. Now be as still as you can, motionless. Naruto stilled himself, began to gather the natural energy he sensed around him. It seeped him, and he began to pass along to the others, and he heard Kun Bayas heard by Kiba singing in his head. Kumbaya, my Kage, Kumbaya. I won't even ask what I'm interrupting. I'll just snatch Yakamo and be on my way. Kiba, my conscience sounds like... Hey! Naruto opened his eyes and saw that Kiba floating behind Akamaru with his sister Hannah riding up her dog. Hm, where are... Oh, oh, fuck! Naruto thought Naruto was under Genjutsu because of his screaming and then saw Akamaru and Kiba. It made her disappoint. Slapped Naruto to say this. You've got a battle, Naruto. Get big for me. I need you now. Naruto gulped and touched himself to get a shape in Yakumo, turned and squat for him. He stood, get it, and thrust it into her girly tube. And there was an anime flash of light as Yakumo's powers began to amp on. Full of Rio says you're faking it. I would treat you good, Nakamo. I know how talented and fragile you are. You don't need some wild, crazy knucklehead like Naruto. Naruto does treat me good, Kiba. He treats all of us good. But he's freaking Naruto Zumaki. He knew what it was too sexy. No, there's eight of us, Kiba. And on top of that, you should hear how he is Nana. I know for a fact he knows him because we fought. I don't believe you, because what you're saying is impossible, and I've heard enough. Kiba shoved his fingers into Hannah's Bootsy, and it sensed her hard for a moment. She moaned with it, grunting and clutching Akamaru. See this? This could be you, Yakumo. Now it's time. Kiba came forward. Big surge of shock to Hannah and Akamaru and raised his fist for holy vengeance. If I can have you, no one can try your heavenly fang. Kiba and Hannah and Akamaru began to spin like epic saw, buzzing with penis juice of hate rage. It raged forth like a flaming dildo to a lesbian anus, stripping away the Hokage's head, with ominous chanting music of background. But when it came to Yakumo, she stopped Akamaru with one finger. Time to wake up, she said with epic deadpan. Huh? What? G exploding tag on my... Ah! Then the genjutsu boomed apart, and Kiba was face up on rock with anime explodey face. Yakumo leaned down to whisper in Kiba's ear. Naruto's given me bigger bangs than that. Kiba blinked and began to cry of manly tears of defeat. I, I, damn it, you win this one, Naruto. It was extreme awkwardness because of who Naruto could choose from. Uh, Kiba, we're friends and all, but I'm sorry, I just can't do it with the dog. Hana, I choose you for my victory winnings. 
She nodded and walked over to beside Naruto, blushing with hot embarrassed. So all that was Genjutsu? Amy was being asked. Yes, my Genjutsu was my clan's Kakei Ginkai, of being super strong. Chizune walked over and to beam the checkup of Kiba. I'm fine, just give me a minute, Shizune. But Shizune used quick green glowy palm to join him anyways, and Kiba blinks to be no threat. He set up with warnings. Say, now that I'm here, you guys wouldn't have something I could snack on, would you? They did, and shared some beef jerky with him and Hana before the awkward gum too much and Kiba had to go. <laughs> so... Naruto said with distractings. Dogs to animals, animals meat, meat to flavoring, flavors to sage, sage to sage mode. He was ready to start the practice again. I was awkward at first. But, oh, oh, did I say? Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. It was awkward at first. But after Naruto explained to Hana that all was shitting for a while in stew, it became good feeling. Shizune and the girls began to understand what sage mode was a bit. Sinjutsu training took a while, so it was being the evening, and girls glanced at each other and looked. Kiba's sister Hannah followed Naruto to his tent, stepping inside with him. Why you want talk of him? Not too much, but you know how to play me. This is kind of an awesome problem to have, Naruto thought with many things. Well, alright. Um. Don't overthink it, just come at me. Hannah let her hair down and pulled Naruto to her with a secret woman grip. Day 5 Naruto awoke, wrapped in the warm touchings of Hannah, her arms and legs feeling just right around him. It felt good and slowly comfortable, so he closed her eyes and laughed at her, stalking Hannah's hair and sexy shape on back. But Hannah trained well of ninja and even liked having touches as they stalk her. What? Oh. Oh. Good morning, Naruto. Good morning, Hannah. Naruto was about to say something else, but Hannah kissed him slow with a smooth tongue that weighs a dolphin of libido. Then he realized his she was already inside Hannah. They had have been to fall asleep that way. The kiss was making him get a shape again, achy but groping with revived to see. And I rolled them to her on top again. Her hair over her dark eyes being an extreme sexiness. Naruto gave her a slow sexing in her moan. Just like this for a while. Meanwhile, the other girls were applied to breakfast and into shark trainings. Zune and Samway led them in hand-to-hand -hand training, and Yakumo was off to the side working on her Renekon rotation with the balls. It was quite a bit hard work for her to have this just to... She wasn't the muscle strong like Samway or Amy, so Yakumo felt an extra need to connect the last of them. Are they even away when things are happening outside the tent? Sasume asked with suspicions. I don't think so, Amy replied. Oh, starting to move again. I didn't think Naruto was this kind of gir guy. I'm a guy, Tintin said, glancing around nervously for a moment. It, uh, I think it's more of being that for Hannah is that kind of girl, Shizune said, as she demonstrated the grasping boy in his kata. The Inuzukas are a healthy clan. <laughs> Tintin smirked. Well, that would explain Kiba. Tintin blocked with a book. Almost. Speaking of healthy, I think Naruto will need a day off soon to rest his grown muscles and prostate, Yusune suggested. You'll need it, Sasume heard Hinata whisper, which made her chortle to the loosening of an attacking from Yurika to her face. Oh. Your guard was down, I went for it, Yurika said. With a shake of her head and determined with her jeans, Amy began to go through the aims of next striking Wakata with Eureka again. This morning, Waro and the Kanoha girls were surprised to see Shizune he knew so many kata, and Tintin asked of this. I had to do something while Lady Sonata was passed out, and sometimes I worked on them with her. Is Naruto Uzumaki here? 
the alternative you can see that a girl who is standing on the wall. Karen. He's here, but he's occupied right now. <clears throat> Karen? Said she's in, eh? What could I hang around here? Got some chasing me, so I thought maybe I could blend in with you. I'm sure Naruto would say yes. Naruto answered. The girl the girls nodded with Griggs. It should be okay. Thanks. Karen hopped down and walked into the group. So what's going on? Looks like a workout. Oh, just working on some kata. And maybe the Rasengan. What? You all know the Rasengan? How about we're working on it? Sage mode too. <gasps> Sign me up. How are things going down with that? It's awesome, mate. What's that they asking? Insane. Only a few guys have dicks and stars in groups. Now all the single girls want to move from the other guys, and some of us have formed groups. Who are those guys with groups? Amy was for the asking. Let's see. Kakashi, kill a bee, and some guy named Shino. I heard they have several. Karen looked around. Seems Naruto ain't doing all bad either. No. Karen didn't join the end of the counter training, but sat back to watch with the Rasengan trainings. It seemed to her they were all doing good with it from what she knew with the Rasengan. They broke from lunch, it being instant moment with pork and veggies. Afterwards, they were was to work on the sage stuff again, and Hana finally came. Out of Naruto's tent. Naruto wasn't far behind, and he helped them, again with feeling the nature energy, and started the telling of how B2 absorbed when he called a speculation break. Karen had just noticed how all girls seemed to be uneasy, relaxicating, and make a decision. She did not say anything, but keep learning of the natural energy with others. When they stopped for the day, Karen saw it a brief intent look in Shizune's eyes. But it passed when she looked to Naruto, who she smiled at. Wondering of the kick over in group, Karen began to introduce herself to the rest of Naruto's half life. Take note, she did, of suspicious looks from Sasume and Rika in the corner of noticing. But still, she continued of being was talking with Hinata and Tintin. But then she was making a silly chick excuse. I must for the bathroom musings, I'll be lonely for a bit. Sure, we'll be coming back, asked Naruto. You're up to a jiffy, Karen assured. Seeing ya. But Karen was no really for the bathroom. She was being new then, that Naruto was a nice guy, and for being was to get a group of unclaimed girls to come to him. Drink. Meanwhile, in the base, all was stretching from being stiff, wink wink, because of sitting for the sage stuff so long, nice poses with well, lax cicada gawnings, and she's new, made sure to stretch pose near Naruto. He no misses, but focus on his own lax cicada stretches instead of getting shape from the looks of Shizune. Gay. Shizune no miss this, and stopped to talk with him. Naruto, could we cuddle tonight? Maybe even something else if you're up for it? Uh, well... Shizune's sexiness was a bit embarrassing again, but he knew she was good for the grown-up niceness. Sure, but I'm starting to get tired, you know. Shizune gave, smiled, and gave Naruto a tender kiss for the forehead, then looked. See you later. Shizune walked of her own tent to them. Naruto feel touched Shizune was nice of him, and now think of how Hinata was loved with him. It made him a deep happy to know people was think this of him, and he vowed to self to protect his girls for as long as he could. Then to help with war and to make unity, he start a game of six degrees of Toby with girls, to make up connections to Ethan Mastermind, and also for fun. Okay, how about this? You'll connect this girl said Naruto with confidence. No way. You hand for me to Toby, said Tintin. She giggled as Naruto gave anime rage feelings, but then they hear a group approach of a wall. It was Karen, with five other girls. You know how it is when girls be in the bathroom. They know not coming along. Amy facepalmed, groaning at the obvious lie. That Naruto didn't catch. I'm guessing you all need a place to stay the night. 
Karen nodded, and Naruto looked at the other girls. It took a minute. It was a jolt of memory shock. He knew he knew two of them. Isuribi, the fishy girl, and Tamaki, the weapon shop girl from Abandoned City. The others had filler look, but seemed nice on a kind of way. And I don't know if there are any conditions for a group, but I think a lot of us would like to join, couldn't we? Well, the only condition is to work with everyone else and be a team. Can you do that? They all nodded. Then you can join. The awkward exploded like a pugnacious anus ruler, and Sosume coughed. So, if you want to be claimed, uh, <laughs> you know what, I'll be in my den. Karen and East Ruby and one of the fellow girls followed. She kind of had wavy brown hair, and she was being born under a blood red moon. Prophesied to be Uma Grand Hero, of none to remember by Vince Rosso. slowly easing on to his shape. She stared him in the eye, and they sensed with wantings into the clay mark flash on her back. She gave him a smile and then get up, and then Isuribi came. Over, Naruto seeing she was no more scales on her skin. Squeezy and hard, and soon the mark flashed on her back. She got up for Karen, the thighs of the sexy. Naruto rubbed for a bit as they sexed, but Karen got off. When her clay mark flashed. <laughs> she got up and. He's really leaning with a quick determined hard kiss on Naruto's lips for her left. The other three doves came. Into Naruto's tent, Tamaki went first, her breasts as jiggling as she sexted on Naruto, and another of the fellow girls had a shape with the same size as Naruto, then she had pretty blue eyes and dark brown hair. Her booger almost made Naruto throb in her, but the claim mark flashed as she licked her lips and got up. The second fellow girl had good average shape and long dark purple bar for her hair. She curtsied and called herself of being named Goro Tijiana. She gripped Naruto with strength of four arms. Face palm. As she sexed him and gave Naruto a needy look as she got up. One that say this was no just claim. I, uh, I, I need a minute, guys. They nodded, and after they left, Naruto took a deep breath and rubbed his achy shape with soothings. He wiped his hands on a wipey cloth and chillaxed to on his pillow. These girls were big surprise, and he was a tired now, his shape shrinking like a flower closing its petals for the day, receding like clouds as the sun parts them after a storm. Drink. Meanwhile, outside, big introductions were in order. The girls mingled with Misa making fast friends with Hinata and Samori, while Goro laughed it up with Amy and Tintin. Riko would be going for their dining preparing, and Yakumo sneaking over to chat as she did so. Eureka, you can tell of chakra natures, right? Not normally, just when my powers are activated. Is nature energy have a nature? No, uh, it's more like all combined and still different. Do you know what my chuck might do is? I've been being of want to know for a while. Yakumo asked as they get out a big number of soups cash from store truck. Yours? Let me think. Ah, yes, it's wind. <coughs> like the wind I just burped. Oh, that's nice. And like Naruto, too. 
Well, I smiled, and Eureka smiled back as the big cookie pot was procured. The twain set to dupe and was heard of the chatter from the group. Silly girl told things about like if the pubic hair made them look bad, but cut it to tie the square, and of course, he would get naughter first after supper. It was epically boring supper, having to sharing basically that of a food and store drug, and sexy tension masturbated the girls of Beto's foot. <coughs> Naruto could feel it like eager hand around his penis, and the girls could see that he was getting a shape but was thiving. This keeps getting better. Drink. Finally, Naruto just became of the tide and went to his tent to relaxate and sleep. He'd closed his eyes for the night and so when Shizune snuck in. He still awake? Yeah. He scooted over a bit and Shizune cuddled up at his side, stroking his hair. But was feeling of good to Naruto. Shizune, can you keep a secret? She nodded, and Naruto spoke. It's been getting hard to keep up with all these girls. I mean, I like them, and I know some of them like me, but I'm tired. Well, you can relax with me anytime you want. I'll take good care of you. Shizune stroked Naruto's hair and gave him gentle, lovely kiss. She held him an arm and looked into his eyes. I meant it when I said you were mine. I'm going to do what I can to keep you now, even after this is over. I know how strong you are and want to be, and all I've wanted to do since I know you was help for that. Shizune. <sighs> the two had a few more slow, tired kissings, then pulled up close for the night.